Zhang, KTVU News. A KTVU exclusive. The suspect accused of stealing $3 million from a San Francisco woman months ago returns to the Bay Area. And we were at SFO when the man was brought back from Taiwan in handcuffs. A chilling and violent Bay Area crime taking San Francisco police halfway around the world. Good evening, everyone. I'm Heather Holmes. And I'm Andre. Senior police and the FBI have been looking for the suspect for the past two months, and the fugitive was finally found in Taiwan, as you just heard, more than 6,500 miles away from the crime scene. KTV's Evan Cernofsky has details on the frightening crime. And Evan, you were at the airport when police and the FBI brought him back. Tell us about it. That's right, Andre. Authorities say their investigation revealed the man robbed $3 million from the victim after duct taping her to a chair. After the crime, police say he fled to Taiwan, where authorities eventually caught up with him. Mr. Zhang, do you want to say anything at all about these allegations? Obviously, they're very serious allegations. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Tianza Zhang didn't answer any of our questions as he walked through San Francisco International Airport on Friday on his way to jail. Do you want to say anything to this woman you allegedly victimized? It all began on March 16th when a woman heard a disturbance inside her home in this neighborhood in Bernal Heights. Here's video from her ring doorbell camera of the suspect breaking in. He was wearing goggles, face mask, he had a hoodie up, he was wearing gloves. Sergeant John Hallisey has been working the case since it happened. He described the harrowing robbery. There's a masked individual, jumps her, uh, holds her down, duct tapes her. Uh, ends up taking two to three million dollars worth of assets from the uh, the victim. Police say the 30 year old Zhang threatened the victim with a knife, but bizarrely, he said nothing the entire time. All his instructions were written on this electronic tablet seen here around his neck. Authorities won't say how they were able to track him down or why he chose his victim. She's real shooken up. Uh, yeah, who wouldn't be? But days after the robbery, police say Zhang left the country and fled to Kaohsiung, Taiwan. SFPD alerted Taiwanese authorities, and on May 30th, they took him into custody and brought him to Taipei. Sergeant Hallisey obtained an arrest warrant and caught a flight to bring him back to San Francisco. Zhang was booked into custody Friday on suspicion of first-degree residential burglary, kidnapping for ransom, and criminal threats. When you went to Taiwan, did you think you had gotten away? What's your reaction to being brought back here to San Francisco? It feels good, and it's, you know, the long arm of the San Francisco PD reaching across the Pacific Ocean is pretty good, too, you know, bringing this guy back. Now, we stopped by the home where this happened and spoke to a friend or relative of the victim. They said the woman is not ready to talk about what happened. The case will now be presented to the district attorney's office for charging. Reporting live in the newsroom, Evan Cernofsky, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And Evan, have they said anything about recovering the money that he allegedly took from this woman? Yeah, Andre, the police are still working those details out right now. They're hoping to get that $3 million back to her as soon as possible. All right, Evan Cernofsky reporting for us live on this pretty big story. Evan, thank you.